Welcome back to ECTV 40's Inspiring the Flock. I'm Lucas and today we are bringing you an Out of the Ordinary holiday special. Out of the Ordinary when you say Ainsley? That's right. I just can't believe how quickly the holiday season went by. I know. The goal of our talk show is to empower students through topics that allow them to realize their full potential. Our topic basis will be student driven, giving you the opportunity to share your story. Inspiring the Flock is about making students and the local community feel at home and know that you're never alone. When we fly together, nothing can take us down. Our quote of the day is from Tony Robbins. Trade your expectation for appreciation and the world changes instantly. Mm -hmm. Tony Robbins is a philanthropist, American author who focuses on self-help. You know, I've seen him in a variety of movies and YouTube videos playing inspirational roles. And one poor topic that we can uh, pull from this quote is gratitude. Right. Gratitude is just trying to be grateful for where you are right now in life. And that still means being excited about the possibilities of the future. But you just have to appreciate what is real, what is true, what's happening all around exactly. you. Um, but that doesn't mean not acknowledging the difficulties of life. Exactly. It, a lot of it is about being here and living in the now. Um, you know, being grateful may seem like a long shot, but in reality is achievable through routine thoughts. You know, it's recollecting acts done by your family or your friends, and maybe just passing by a person at the grocery store who picks something up for you. Uh, it's a lot of that, and most importantly, through actions like maybe writing a thank you card, you know, something like that. Right. So with the holiday season just ending, Lucas, are you putting the practice of gratitude into your everyday practice? So, yes I am, and like we talked before, there are a few things though that I could improve on, and I think the mm -hmm. first, uh, the, the largest thing for me is going to definitely be writing thank you cards. Um, mm -hmm. And it's like whenever I receive a gift and I know I should write a thank you card and not taking that time out sometimes, really gives me like that sort of sense of regret sometimes. Right. But there is no right way to practice gratitude, whether that's in an inwards expression, outwards expression. That's really a personal decision that every person has to make on their own. Exactly. It's a lot about learning how to step away from our own lens and look past our sort of tunnel vision. Right. Um, so with that, we're going to tie it back to you and blend stories and additional research together to look at Tony Robbins' quote and our topic on a much broader scale. So when Lucas and I were talking about the practice of gratitude and how we can relate it back to college students, I think a lot of us can relate that this time in our life, we're spending yeah. so much time focusing on the future and planning for that. So what courses you want to take, what activities you want to be involved in, that we're kind of forming this tunnel vision um, and blurring yeah. out everything else that you should be gr being grateful for every single day. Yeah. Um, it's important to focus on the goals for the future. The now, the now. Right, the way, right, right. But you have to just take a moment every single day for yourself to focus on what is going right. What do you have right now? Who do you have right now that is... Yeah. You know, all those things are going to be the culmination of what is going to get you to that point in your life that you want to be at. And I think too much we get focused on that tunnel vision. I know we're going to touch on that a little bit later, mm -hmm. um, sort of living in the now. But I think one large thing for a lot of college students is that we love to sort of focus on the future. And I know we're going to speak about mm -hmm. this later. Um, but it's sort of just uh, putting yourself into a sort of the present and just being grateful for what's around you. Right. You have to, um, practicing gratitude is a way to recognize what you have right now because we focus on so much of, I'm going to be happy when I finally achieve this goal, when I finally hit that point in my life, when I finally fulfill all of these materialistic needs that I have. Yeah. Um, but really, everything that you need and everything you want is all around you. Yeah, and one important thing I wanted to touch on is sort of how in this country we have a lot. We have an abundance of things. We have all these services that actually mean a lot to us. Um, and I think sometimes we aren't always grateful for them. Right. So what would you say some of those services are? Um, so it could be anything from being, uh, you know, from the military, police enforcement, volunteer firefighters, uh, those people who don't have the opportunity to wake up and sort of be free in that way because they have a duty to sort of protect the rest of us. And I just, and I'm truly thankful for that. Right. That's a really great point that Lucas just made. That is something that everybody can be grateful for every single day if you need a starting platform for something to be grateful for because even if it might affect you personally every single day. It affects somebody you know or some, yeah. you know, a friend or family yeah. member. And I remember it's one thing that we spoke about was the domino effect. Uh, sort of how mm -hmm. this domino effect could actually be for the good in a way that if you sort of change uh, and take someone's bad day and turn that into a good day. Right. Um, I think to understand the practice of gratitude, you have yeah. to understand how to like, refuel gratitude coming towards you. Um, I think that's actually a really interesting topic. So some people don't realize that gratitude is needed Feeling gratitude is needed to start expressing it to yeah. other people. If you don't feel it coming your way, you're not going to know how to put that into an outwards expression. Yeah, and it always goes both ways. Mm -hmm. It definitely does. Some thoughts to leave you with on the topic of staying grateful. So Lucas and I were trying to figure out how can we help you guys put this into practice into your everyday life. 
So the first step would be to take notice of what you are grateful for. Um, this may and probably oftentimes can come across as feeling disingenuous, but forming any habit is going to require some conscious thought and effort in the beginning before it becomes ingrained into your everyday life. Yeah. Uh, the second step would be to begin to think about it. Um, you have to appreciate what you're feeling. You have to absorb those emotions and really understand what you are feeling, what you are grateful for. And then the third and final step would be to express that gratitude, whether that is an inwards expression or an outwards expression. Again, that's something that only you can make a decision for yourself. Um, and then Lucas and I came up with some ideas for you guys about how you can make this into a daily practice. Yeah, the first thing uh, is a gratitude journal or, you know, a jar. And I know we both have a common friend that actually didn't have to do this last semester. Right. Uh, one of our friends last semester took a class in which she had to have a gratitude journal. So every day she had to write three things down. And she was telling me at the end of the semester that towards the beginning it felt really disingenuous that she was forcing herself to write these things down. But by the end of the semester, her thinking had totally changed, that she had started to not care about some of the things that she would spend so much time on in the beginning. Um, she just really let go and was just really feeling herself being grateful for yeah. what she has, what is around her, for the people in her life. Yeah, and then towards the end, she started to really value it and started to you know, take some really good really good thinking, really good thought process. Mm -hmm. um, and that's actually our next thing is mindful thinking, right? Absolutely. Yeah. So if you are not someone that wants to make an outwards expression for it, then you can think about it yourself, whether that's when you wake up in the morning, before you go to sleep at night, just sometime during the day, making a conscious effort to think about what is going right in your life, what are you grateful for, um, can be something that you can do. Um, another thing, you can make take mindful thinking and make it an outwards expression so you can have that conversation yeah. with friends every day. Um, so you can sit down at night, again, do the same thing if you were going to be just thinking about it yourself and having those conversations, just saying what you were grateful for, what went right during your day. Um, or in the last thing that we came up with was telling somebody what they mean to you would be a really great uh, outwards expression. Exactly. With our topic coming to a close, we would like to leave you with some recommendations. Feel free to send in your thoughts about the TED Talk, Remember to Say Thank You by Rachel Trice in our conversation today. Now we would like to give you a preview on our next topic next week, which is, Lucas? Adjusting back to college life and breaking out of your shell. You can follow us on Instagram at inspiringtheflock, and if you'd like to share your story with us to be featured on our next episode, please send it in. We'll be looking to start our own gratitude journal on our story page. Please stay tuned. Signing off for today, we, we hope, hope you, you enjoyed, enjoyed the, the show. show.